by serial correlation coefficient is one of the statistical tests in SPSS that can be used to measure the relationship between two variables, two, group, two groups of data, two set of variables. One of the variables is continuous variables and it is normally distributed variable without an outliers. The other variables is dichotomous i.e. categorial but dichotomous with continuity so it's called continuous dichotomous an example of that fail and pass failed anything any dig any gray any mark of 60 plus it is pass anything below 60 it is fail and fail can be fail marginal so this is a dichotomous variable with underlining continuity and if we want to compare and find the relationship between those two variables one of them is continuous the other one is dichotomous continuous dichotomous or ordinal the test to use is by serial correlation coefficient in fact by serial correlation coefficient works by determining first the point by serial correlation coefficient which i have already described in a previous video clip once the value the r value for the point by serial correlation coefficient is determined a formula given below can be used to work out and calculate the pi serial correlation coefficient and the equation states that the coefficient for pi serial equal to the coefficient of point pi serial multiplied by the square root of p1 and p2 p1 is the proportion of cases in category 1 or the percentage p2 is the proportion of cases in category category 2 divided by an ordinate y y is an ordinate of the normal distribution and this value can be extracted from a table of the standard normal distribution table following a standard normal distribution curve so to do this test in spss i have here a data sorted out in two columns two variables one of them success pass and failure as I, as you can see here pass and fail, failure and this success or failure is a dichotomous as i have labeled failed one two pass and it is an ordinal uh, as success is just categories and the score is numerical i so the success a pass and fail with marginal uh, failure and or the ordinal uh, dichotomous this is a dichotomous or ordinal dichotomous variable and the score is a continuous variable from zero up to a hundred and I've checked that it is normally distributed without an outliers. To find out if there is a correlation or relationship between this dichotomous variable, continuous dichotomous variable with this continuous variable, first of all, we have to calculate the point pi serial coefficient. And point pi serial coefficient can be calculated using Pearson correlation coefficient. I've already described that also in a separate video for how to do Pearson, Pearson, Pearson's correlation coefficient. The way to do the uh, uh, analysis and test is to click on analyze, scroll to correlate, pi variate as pi stands for two, variates mean two variables. If I click on two, two uh, pi variate correlation, I have here a box, I'm going to correlate between the success, which is the dichotomous variable with the score which is the continuous variable. And I'm going to keep the tick for correlation coefficient for Pearson. Pearson correlation coefficient to calculate the coefficient for the point pi serial. 
and I'm going to stick with the two tail test of significant as shown here and if I click the OK icon I get this table this table shows that there is a correlation between success and score and the value for the correlation is 5.504 so this is really a moderate relationship between those two variables the dichotomous one and the continuous one dichotomous and the continuous variable and in fact there is a strong significant and this is really this relationship has a significant value of less than 0.05 so this is really uh, credible and uh, statistically significant significant relationship between success and score the value for this in this table can be considered as here point pi serial correlation and then we and now we need to uh, calculate the by serial correlation RB and to do uh, to calculate the RB we are going to use the formula here given below as we can see here the RB is already determined to be 0.504 now I need to determine the P1 and the P2 to determine the P1 and the P2 the way is to click on analyze descriptive frequencies reset and then I'm going to find the proportion or the percentage of pass and failure. So I'm looking at the dichotomous variable. And I'm not going to make any changes here. Just stick to this and click on OK. In this table here, success and failure, it says fail and pass. So there are 58.1% fail and 41.9% pass. So the proportion here is 0.5%. 81 for fail, 0.4194 pass. So I'm going to use this value to uh, and apply them into the standard normal curve table here, as you can see, large portion, small portion. So our first p value from this from this table here we've shown is 0.581 and the other one is 0.419 so we need to use these two value on this table here if we look at the po larger portion here of 0.58 if we scroll down from 0.581 up to here i have labeled this value with a red square rectangle and this is the value 0.58 one closest to 0 0.8 0 0.581 and then for the smaller portion 0 0.419 0 0.419 the closest one is here so from this coordinate we can calculate the y and the y here is 0 0.3902 this is the way to work out the y ordinate from that standard table using a larger portion and a smaller portion p1 and p2 now i need here to use a calculator so if i click on calculator here and back again to statistics and the calculator so what i'm going to use the formula first of all i'm going to put the value for calculate first the portion one and portion two multiply then square root of it so the p1 is as we can see here is 0.581 multiplied by 0.419 if i hit equal it will be 0 0.4 0 0.243 and so on if i do a square root for this value now i've got the square root of po uh, proportion 1 proportion 2 then I need to multiply that by the coefficient of point by serial following the equation the point by serial is determined here is point so multiplied by point 504 hit the bottom equal 
so I still get 0.248 and I need now to divide that by the y ordinate and the y ordinate is as I've already calculated that is 0.3902 and if I click OK then this is the value for points for the peer pi serial correlation coefficient 637 this value, as we can see here, the biserial correlation coefficient is 0 0.637. The point biserial coefficient is 0 0.504. So this is uh, higher. The value for this is higher than the point biserial. So this is the way to do and measure and calculate a relationship or a link or association between two variables one of them is continuous variable normally distributed the other variable is dichotomous variable when there when there is an ordinal ordinal in it i.e there is continuity of it the way to use the, to do it is to do a pi serial correlation coefficient following the formula given uh, by, uh, using two tests, the Pearson correlation coefficient and the pi, uh, um, point by serial correlation coefficient to work from them to extract the point by serial and then um, use the equation to determine the value for the coefficient for the by serial.